Hello everyone. In this second video of the CISSP series, we will start with the domain 1, which covers security and risk management. This domain acts as a base for the information security field. So we can say that the basic concepts related to security are covered in this domain. So when we say basic, then the CIA triad is the first basic thing every security professional must know. And this CIA triad is the first topic out of the 63 topics as defined in the CBK of CISSP. It's important to check and prepare as per the exam requirement. So let's understand what the CISSP exam want us to know in this topic. So if we check the CISSP CBK, the name of the topic is understand and apply the concept of confidentiality, integrity and availability. So the CBK wants us to know the concept of CIA and also want us to know how to apply the concepts of CIA in practice. So in this video, our focus will also be on both of these. Now let's see the important terms to be covered in this topic. Remember, we will check out the definition of these terms later. And in this video, we will just take an overview of these terms. There are six important terms used in this topic. And these terms are, first term is CIA trial, which is an acronym of confidentiality, integrity and availability. And the second term is confidentiality, which means that sensitive information is not disclosed to unauthorized entities. Integrity is the third term, which is a property which ensures the data has not been altered in unauthorized manner since it was created, transmitted or stored. Fourth term is availability, which ensures timely and authorized access and use of information or service. Authenticity is the fifth term, which is the property of being genuine and being able to be verified and trusted. Non-repudiation is the sixth term and it is the process of providing that a user, service or device performed an action. You can practice for these terms via Quizlet study set 1 for better retention. Let's have a look on the mind map of this domain and topic. Domain 1 of CISSP have in total 12 topics. And the first topic of domain 1 is understand and apply concept of confidentiality, integrity and availability can further be divided into subtopics as information security, CIA triad and Parkerian hexad. You should also know the limitations of CIA triad and the negative of CIA triad. Now let's cover these subtopics one by one. Taking the first subtopic, information security. Information security is a technique with goal to protect the confidentiality, integrity and availability of information. Information security can be implemented via technologies, policies, practice and people. Also, we need to protect information in three states. In transmission state, in storage state and in processing state. Now let's focus on the role of CIA triad on information security. The CIA triad is a theoretical model on which the whole security domain work on. Means when we say we need to provide or enhance the security of any data, device or service, then we need to check what changes we can do in to its three security objectives, confidentiality, integrity and availability. Every security control or countermeasures will have an impact on one or more of these three security objectives. And every attack will also have an impact on any one or more of these three security objectives. So we can say that the whole security domain is based on the CIA triad. Also, it's very important to know that security objectives provide the principles of security and the principles give the practices. And to implement these principles and practices, we use technology. So adding a firewall or any other security device is only the technological part of the overall information security domain. So the three security objectives Confidentiality, which prevent unauthorized disclosure of data, is the basis of the security principle of need to know and list privilege. Confidentiality can be implemented using encryption or by controlling the logical and physical access. Integrity is the second security objective which ensure, prevent and detect unauthorized modification of data. To implement integrity, we can use hashing, reference data and logging techniques. Control state address, separation of duties, application of list privilege and audit against standards helps to ensure integrity. The third security objective, availability, ensure reliable and timely access. All the fault tolerance mechanisms as RAID, Cloud and the recovery procedures are the method to achieve availability. Also, we need to ensure the availability of all three people, process, system or technology. If any one of these is missing, then we are not able to meet the security objective of availability. So this is all about the CIA trial. We will discuss different security controls 
in the coming videos and at that time we will relate them to the CIA trial and other security objective. But you should also start relating your daily work activities with these security objectives. Before doing anything in security, just think which security objective it will have an impact on. And if you are investigating or trying to mitigate any attack, then just think which security objective is being impacted by the attack. And by doing so, you can pinpoint required controls to mitigate the attack. The negative of security CIA triad is DAD, which means disclosure, alteration and destruction. CIA triad also have some limitations because of the CIA triad is a theoretical model. And when it comes to actual implementation, then we require some more security objective to think on, such as authenticity, usefulness, and non-repudiation. That's why NIST Special Publication 800-33 covers five security objectives. Three of these are same as of CIA tried and two more are accountability and assurance. The exam do not expect you to know the NIST Special Publication in detail, but it surely wants you to understand the security objectives. Also, one more model, Parkerian Hexart covers six security objectives. Three of these security objectives are same as in CIA tried, and the other three are authenticity, utility, and possession. Authenticity here means the quality of being real or true. Utility means how useful the information is. Possession or control means the physical state where the information is maintained. In the exam, you will not get any direct question on the concepts. And for this particular topic, the question Questions in the exam will test your understanding on the impact of the controls or countermeasures or the attack on the security objectives. Also, the questions can check your knowledge about the inverse of CIA trial or you will get indirect questions on the information security implementation. And you can also find questions which require you to know the link between principles of security and security objective. As a suggestion, do not go in depth in any of the standard in the whole CISSP exam as CISSP exam is not in standard specific. With this, we can say we covered the topic first out of the 63 topics given in the CBK. Remember to revise and practice by watching this video and practicing the questions available on the CISSP Google Classroom. Okay then, happy learning but remember to revise and practice within next 24 hours.